Hi everyone, my name is Damien and I'm here today with my good friends Wojtek, Prusu and Jose and we're going to talk to you about our brand new update. Uh, the last one was a pirate map and we know that you loved it and today we're going to talk to you about our brand new main menu. Now we took the old one, totally smashed it to bits and created the bang on studios. All of a lot of cool stuff in there for you to explore. We have a zoo, we have arcade, and most importantly, we have the big baddie, the Bobos. Yeah! Yeah! Yes! Now, this guy really wants to give you a hard time in there, but it's gonna be your job to just kick his butt. Now we're gonna take a look at him right now. So the first thing you're going to see um, when you enter the game is a brand new intro sequence. Uh, in the intro sequence, we're introducing you as Bob, uh, a little fun, clumsy, and totally oblivious little ball who wakes up every day and goes to work at Bang On Studios as an intern. Um, now we wanted to do, we wanted to have a little fun with this intro, uh, so it, it, you know, every time you watch it, there's something new. So depending on the achievements in the game that you've had, it's going to change. For example, if you unlock the octopus hat, it's going to be sitting on top of your TV. And like on this bus, uh, there's going to be different posters introducing Bob Boss. Now Damien has already, uh, has already uh, mentioned him. He's going to be the antagonist, so to speak, in the game. Um, and here he is, actually introduced in person. So this is the first time we're actually having a proper uh, narrative loop with, you know, an antagonist and a goal that you're trying to achieve uh, in the game. So this is it. This is Bang On Studios. I'm gonna join the guys for the game and let's continue. Hello everyone and welcome to Bang On Studios, located of course in Bobbywood. We've always wanted Bang On Balls Chronicles to have a really cool playable main menu and we always felt like the previous one didn't really do it justice. It was just a very limited amount of space and it was also really dark in there which didn't really contrast well with the overall upbeat and colorful nature of this game. So here it's a completely different thing, brand new, lots of space to explore and as you come here inside you immediately see our big baddie Bob Boss. Everybody seems to love him and want his autograph but you work here, you know what's up, he's a mean old Bob and we're gonna teach him a lesson or two. So as we come here inside the studio, we see that there's lots of space. It's still quite empty because I've just started a new game. So only the Viking doors have opened here. We're going to check them out in a little bit. But as you can see, there's a lot of things to explore. A lot of secret locations to find. And a lot of really cool items to collect. And, like my friend Prusa mentioned before, this menu is gonna change as you progress through the game. The level itself is gonna change, new things will show up, new paths will open up, it's gonna look really cool. So right now we're gonna see what Bob Boss is up to here. He's just so full of himself, with lights following him around. Oh, he's gonna go into the Viking map, alright, so we're gonna follow him and see if we can ruin his day. So right now, the Viking studio seems really empty for now, but as we'll show you in a little bit, by completing the Viking map and exploring the level, you'll actually be able to bring a lot of life into this place and even get a reward by doing so. So we're gonna follow the Bob boss, and we're gonna go into the Viking map where we'll show you a few new features. Hey, you dang the scan fans? Bobby Dunger, Snobby Dunger, all them Buster Bobbies. Stop them ban the car insurance. The hoot it took. Wait, whoa. Whoa. 
的不。<咳>
So now that we are back here in the main menu, we can see that things have changed a little bit, there's a lot more action happening, you can see the mean old Bob boss there, totally angry after being defeated in the Viking map. We can see that the doors to the space race map have opened, but actually what I would like to show you is here in the Viking Studios, because as you can see it's changed, it's got all these cool ghostly shapes of all the main places that you've visited in the level. So if you explore the level and you capture all those film reels spread throughout the level, you'll actually be able to use them here and bring a bit of life to the studio. So I'm gonna try to do it pretty quickly and go through all of them here. What we have here, the cave, where some of the boats were, the cemetery, the Roman Colosseum, yes, fortress, all these other bits that you visited. Here you have the windmill. Here, of course, you have the port in the fortress, Stonehenge. Here, our cool little. Waker Bob. And what else we have here? Ah, still a few places more to go. Ah, yes, of course, we have the Merlin Tower and the Monastery. And I think that is all of them. And now the studio is really colorful, full of life. And you got a little reward. You got a cool little hat of the defeated Bob Boss. And let's check out some other cool new features in this super cool new main menu. We've also updated the customization chair. Previously it allowed you to just change your flag and now there is a lot more to it. Let me show you. First of all, it looks way better now. It has a new model and great animations. Um, you can now apply a simple color if that's more your aesthetic. Um, you can still apply flags. You can get a tattoo, front, back or both if that's what you like. Also tattoos are not limited to the pirate map anymore. We have placed new ones on all the maps for you to find and customize your ball even more. Okay, you guys remember Bob Boss, right? Well, he's the main villain of the game, so uh, when you're playing and you beat the bosses, it's actually him in costume. So as you beat him, you're gonna see him transformed uh, and a little worse for wear uh, let's say he's got a bit of a black eye situation going on uh, he's equipped with the helmet that he had on as the boss so as you progress through the game as you complete levels and you beat him at the end of each level he's gonna be uh, looking progressively worse um, so that's Bob Boss, but as you might have noticed, as we were passing uh, the main menu outside of the studio, the rest of the setup also changed. Now, previously we were on the Viking level, and now uh, we see that uh, the scenery's changed. The whole outline, uh, the whole uh, layout of the of the of the menu has changed. We see some familiar faces uh, from the Viking map, like the witches. Uh, we see a lot of props being taken out and trashed. And um, the entire main menu, or the Bang On Picture Studio, is being furnished to accommodate the current level. 
So uh, each time you finish one, there's going to be some cool new stuff. There's going to be a couple secrets that you might unlock. Uh, and as you progress to the game, these little AIs, these little balls, are going to change the way that they react to you. So in the beginning, they're only following Bob Boss. You see, they got these pictures. Uh, they got his... Uh, Know, R graphs, uh, so they're only interested in the big guy. But as you're playing and gaining some notoriety, they're gonna start following you, they're gonna start taking pictures, selfies, uh, blowing low kisses. So the AI setup uh, is gonna reflect the fame that you as Bob have attained throughout uh, playing the game. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff going on around and really the entire thing changes with your progression through the game. One of the big additions in this update are the collectible pets. We already had some items that would spawn little AI follower, but it was fixed, so mm, Badger Hat would spawn little Badger, Roman Banner would spawn little Roman Soldier and so on. And while it was cool, it was also kind of limiting on our customization capabilities because some players may like the item but not necessarily the pet or vice versa. So we decided to rebuild this feature and detach pets from items and let players choose their companions freely. Uh, we've also populated all the maps with collectible pets uh, and they are these little golden animals that you can find and collect by dashing into them. And I believe there is one here, yeah, there is a little rabbit, so let's let's try and catch it. No, don't run, don't run. Okay, let's go. And the rabbit is now our pet. So once you catch it, you can select it in inventory, it's automatically selected because the it's the only pet that I have right now. As you can see there is also another pet to be, to be caught in this level. And the rabbit will now follow me around. And not only follow me around, but it will also react to stuff that I do. So, for example, if I whistle, it will perform a little trick, when uh, when I change items, it will get excited for me. Uh, and also, my personal favorite, when I start rolling, it will start rolling with me. So we are both rolling. And it's awesome. So we're back here in the main menu. As you can see, things have changed a lot already. The menu has evolved quite a bit. We've completed a few levels. And I'm going to take this opportunity to show another super cool location that we have in this new main menu map. We really wanted to make a location like this, so we created an arcade. Of course, needless to say, you got to buy a ticket to get in. And those are expensive, so we're going to pay for it right now. And let's go inside. So welcome to the arcade. It's a cool, super cool new location that you can explore. And it's a place where you can play all our little challenge maps. Oh, I see that Bob Boss is here as well. I don't know what he's up to, but probably not any good. You have some cool bowling alley. Let me see if I can get a strike. Oh, nearly there. Close. Very close. Anyway, this is a very cool location that you can explore. Of course, you also have here our famous little gumball machine where you can input codes to retrieve all kinds of items. And this is also a location where you can access all of our existing challenge games. 
that you can play by yourself or with friends. And they are super good fun. This is just one of a couple of super cool new locations in the main menu map that you'll discover as you'll play. Whoa! Cat grabs. Bam bam. Blunzo. We've also made significant changes to super mode because we felt that it's not super enough. Shishek, our lead sound designer, created this fantastic music theme for it that really takes it to the next level. happy with how players enter super mode because it used to be based on consuming enough health pips and in general not very clear. So we decided to introduce super pips. There are these golden stars uh, placed in different spots on the maps and when you consume it that's where the real craziness starts. Let me show you. There's a group of oblivious AI, not knowing what's about to happen. There's the music. During that phase, when you slam, all AI is automatically dragged to you. And when they hit you, they receive damage. Uh, you are not blocked by anything. You destroy shields. You destroy basically everything around you. So yeah, as you can see, you become quite powerful. In fact, you are immortal during the time. And you can just go wild and smash everything for that pure unrestricted fun. Okay, so that wraps up the showcase of this new main menu and all the features that we've added to the game. We hope you'll have a chance to check all of them out soon, and we sincerely hope that you'll have as much fun playing it as we had making it. I'm uh, just gonna try to find myself here a nice spot where I can do like a nice se little send-off. Oh, perfect. Our majestic centerpiece fountain. So. On behalf of the Exit Plan team, I sincerely want to thank our community. The absolutely overwhelmingly positive response that this game has had so far, it is truly wonderful. Everyone who purchased the game, everyone who has written a review, talked about it in our community pages, given us feedback on our Discord channels, it's really amazing. It's thanks to you that we're making this game the absolute banging 3D platformer that it is. That'll be it for now, but stay tuned, there's more updates coming very soon. Take care!